couple of weeks since my last video of the field. The storms have gone and we're just dealing with the tail end of the wind and the rain. The ever watchful Chester is keeping an eye on me to make sure I don't hurt myself. There's a hammer in this little adaptation to help the wheelbarrow get in and out of the barn. As the horses have been in for a while now, the muck heap is starting to grow. It's a never ending cycle at the moment of muck the horses out, make them a fresh bed, muck the horses out, make them a fresh bed. The horses are in two minds at the moment. When they're in, they want to be out. When they're out, they want to come back in. I've applied a bit of science on the blue barrels. Using the principle of siphoning, I've allowed water to flow from one to the other. All the chickens are fine, but on average at the moment they're laying about five eggs a day. The never ending mucking out continues. wrangling is required to get it in the right stable. Although the field's still not draining properly, it's not rained for a couple of days and I'm putting the horses out again. The daffodils didn't flower last year, so it's nice to see them in bloom. And as a bit of light relief, I've decided to teach that freight train Kenzo a bit of discipline and obedience around obstacles. Sort 